Welcome. If you're just joining us this week, I'm Heather, and we've been talking about six elements of pursuing unity. So far, we've covered kingdom purpose, humility, and peacemaking. Today, we're going to talk about the ethic of unity, and that is love. It is love that facilitates every one of these elements of unity working together. What helps us choose humility? Love. Love for God first, and then for those whom we will consider more significant than self. What informs our kingdom purpose? Love. Since we have been loved, we can love. What facilitates peacemaking? Love. We can overcome offenses through love. Look at Philippians 2.2. 2. Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Here, Paul is calling us to be united in love. Love helps you pull in the same direction. Love helps smooth the friction that proximity brings. 1 Peter 3.8 reads, Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. We're called to have sympathy and brotherly love. Unity is about being a team. You must care for those on your team. This type of love motivates you toward grace when those you are unified with stumble. Sympathy means that you consider what's going on in their life. I know we're all prone to make snap judgments, but sympathy says they're doing the best they can in this moment. I have the grace to come alongside and lend a helping hand. Brotherly love doesn't let a brother get stuck. Brotherly love motivates us to get involved and move our brother and sister forward. Paul has that same idea in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. This is the type of love that loves you in your success and in your mess. Success love is easy. <laughs> mess love is hard. God calls us to both. If we want to pursue unity, we will have to pursue love. How do you do that? How do you pursue love? Particularly when those on my team are making it hard to love them. It's all about Jesus. Go back to the foot of the cross. Spend time in gratitude for how he's loved you, how he has forgiven you. Reacquaint yourself with God's grace for you. All true love is derivative from God's love for us. I can't just try to drum up love for others. I must get filled by God's love for me. Whenever you get filled by God's love, there's always some overflow that you can spill into the lives of others. And the more you love Jesus, the easier it becomes. I love you. Have a great day.